What's up guys, The Panthers here and welcome back to another FC25 video guys. It is 6 p.m. It is Wednesday and we have got Team of the Week 2. That's right, it is here. We're going to see today what is in it. Do we have anything else other than Team of the Week 2? Or do we just... Oh, they've put live in the middle now instead of at the end. Uh, FC Pro Milestones. Doesn't look like anything here. There is not. And Foundations, who cares either way? Let's have a look at Rush. Now, the previous Rush event expired today. Um, there is no new Rush event. That's sad because I was looking forward to another game of 6 p.m. Rush content. Um, and that leaves Evolutions for today, which... What day is it? Wednesday. I presume that we don't have a new Evolution either. Actually, Club Rewards, Purple Prime, Club Legend and Goal Scorer. Evolutions, the Oct Octopus Supreme, and Box to Box. So, early access slowing right down. We'll take a look at SBCs before we take a look at that team of the week. And let's see. Ooh, wait. Oh, nice. First of all, we've got Marcus Turan, Player of the Month. Three star, four star, controlled lengthy, six foot four. His club, <laughs> Lombardia FC, obviously. Obviously, for cheap, safe and fast FC25 coins, go to U4GM. They have over 8,000 comments on Trustpilot with a 4.6 rating. And to get 5% off your order, use code NEP at checkout. Check out the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. And so with that, guys, let's take a look at his in-game stats. Great pace, great physicals, good dribbling, good passing, very good shooting. He's got quick step, relentless and aerial. And then he's got advanced forward plus. Now, this is only one squad. It does look like a really, really good squad. Really, really good card. I think with an anchor, not an anchor, a hawk or a hunter, it requires an 84 rated squad and the team of the week. That's not bad. That's about a 20,000 coin SBC altogether. I think that's reasonably priced and it's there for 30 days, which is very, very good. It is the only new player. In terms of upgrades... Flashback upgrade. Complete this challenge to progress towards earning flashback David Alaba's group. Oh, wait, no, that isn't like that. That was already there. This one. This one looks dumb, doesn't it? Lone base hero player pick. One squad for a lone hero. Now we're going to do it. Obviously, I don't actually know if I have enough. Um, enough cards. Oh, I do on this account. We've got loads on this account. I've done all of the uh, objectives and stuff. Um, it's an 82 rated squad. There are, if, if this is like a seven or a 10 game loan, that's dead. If this is like a four day loan or like a seven day loan or something, that's sick because I really have enjoyed using my Bruno Fernandez and um, who else did I have? My Bruno Fernandez and somebody else on a, on a four day loan. Um, and I thought it was brilliant. I genuinely, genuinely liked it because it's like, okay, I can now I'm not holding on to them for this or for that. It's 10 games. Okay, it's 10 games. Let's have a look though. Let's see what uh, what hero we get. Let me know down below what hero you get. We get Rui Costa, Hamshik, or Leongberg. I'm gonna take Hamshik because I think he's the best. He's got power shot plus as well. Um he's extinct. Wow, he definitely is the best then. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, we get a 10 game loan on him, four star, five star. Half winger plus plus. Nice card, obviously. Um, we've got Team of the Week Cosmetic Evo 2. Two more 84 squads again. I personally think it's a terrible Evo. For those of you that don't know, this Evo only lets you evolve inform cards. I thought it was something that allowed you to make cards into an inform card, which then maybe would fit into another Evo or whatever. No, it gives you a cosmetic inform for 284 rated squads which i think is terrible value i can't lie um the 77 double upgrade is still there for another another three times ago a day uh, and then we've got early access challenge number two complete this challenge to earn an untradeable prime gold players pack so a nice pack from this one and it's going to require 31 chemistry 75 rated one rare player players from one club maximum four players from the same league maximum five countries and regions maximum two so yeah, just do, you just want to do one nation from two different leagues, effectively. Um, what have I got for goalkeepers here? We've got Argentina, 
probably a bit too obvious. Brazil, Germany. Germany's probably quite good. And you know what? You could probably just do like the men and then the women, couldn't you? From the say, like, you know, Bundesliga men, Bundesliga women. Um, and go from there. Now, you do need quite a lot of chemistry on this one. We can't really afford to put too many more of the uh, females in. Pop a Miri in there. The element in there. Might, might be able to get most of this done. Yeah, Undav and Mukhtar. I think Mukhtar might have left wing. Nope. Hoffman's got left mid, mind you. Uh, we get Fulrich in there. Let's see where we're at. But the team rating's good. I just need uh, chemistry. Why not have another single German centre-back or CDM? I guess I don't. So what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, the transfer market. We'll pop this guy in, Bosch. We've got players from one club, maximum two. Yeah, players, rare players is covered. Players from the same league is perfect. So I just need another German player in here. Doesn't matter what league it's from. And, uh, oh, I guess a lot of other people are having the same opinion as me. And there is... A 45k pack. That's a pretty cool SBC, guys. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Um, again, you just do, do one nation, but do it from two different leagues, right? Do the Spain men, Spain women. England men, England women, right? This is very easy. Uh, very nice indeed. And so let's rip that pack open. And then we can have a look at the team of the week. Prime gold players pack. No walkout for me. No walkout for me. What do we get? Yeah, nothing. Oh, actually, 85 rated Ollie Watkins. Not bad. He goes into the duplicate storage, which, of course, we love. We do. Um, so let's go and have a look at this uh, this team of the week. I've got some squad battles rewards. What rank? What rank? Yeah, terrible. Um, let's have a look at team of the week. And we have got... Wow. Wow. Vinicius Jr. Five-star, four-star. Obviously, he's a beast. His gold card's a beast as well. He's got quick step plus, inside forward plus plus. We've got Hyung Min Son. We've got Mateo. That looks to be a really decent card already. Four star, three star with really nice stats there. We've got Olise from Bayern. What a game he had. Nice, nice, uh, nice on him as well. Hyung Min Son, of course. Finesse shot plus quick step and rapid. That is a big card. Four star, five star. With advanced forward plus plus as well. That is big. We've got Luis Diaz from Liverpool. Four star, four star. Really nice stats. Passing is a bit meh. Technical quick step and flair. No plus plus uh, role, unfortunately. We've got Florian Vietz, who's got Shadow Striker plus plus. Wow. He's got Travella. Technical, first touch, flair, incisive plus, finesse and chip. Four star, four star. He's got left mid as well. And then just a really, really, really tidy card. And then Ruben Neves. Three star, four star and Ruben Neves. Good passing. Really well-rounded stats, actually. Jumping and heading's a bit poor. Agility's a bit low. Long ball whips and... Uh, Dead, uh, not dead ball. Uh, it does have dead ball, but power shot as well. No plus plus uh, set up there, though. We've got Mittelstadt. Alderweireld. He's still kicking it, isn't he? He's still doing well. Bit of a weird pace split. I wonder if he fits in the new, in that pace upgrade. It's 84 max, isn't it? I think he would. You'd be able to get his acceleration up by 10 in that evolution. That would be a mad card, to be fair. Because his defending and physical is really good. His passing is really good for a centre-back. So is his dribbling. It's decent. Anticipate long ball and power header with defender plus. And then we've got Bremer as well. Two-star, two-star. Six-foot-two, mostly lengthy. Good pace. Good short pass, long pass, but terrible passing otherwise. What's the point of having good passing stats when you've got 47 vision? Dribbling is also terrible. Defending and physical is good, but stamina is pretty poor. Loads of good play styles. Block, intercept, bruiser. Aerial, long ball, and power header. And stopper plus plus. We've got Muslera in goal. Three play styles for him. Goalkeeper plus. Six foot three, nice. And then on the bench, we've got Gabia, Evander, Stein, Rafinha. He will be a good one to get. Four star, four star. 
explosive on an engine he's going to be lights out good quick step rapid relentless trickster as well which is massive this year because of the trickster fake shot uh flare power shot and finesse not plus plus on anything but still good Arda, oh my days that looks like a good card to be fair four star four star really well rounded stats really well balanced really good play styles we've got nicholas jackson from chelsea three three on him but good pace good shooting okay dribbling good physicals technical and flair and false nine and poacher plus we've got makoko who's obviously at was at nice now nice card not the best pace nice dribbling though four star four star as well uh francisco mora polirola Oh, he's nearly hooligan. That's mad, isn't it? The Marseille right back. Got centre back as an alt position as well. Really well rounded. No play styles. Never mind. Um, Joel Montero from Young Boys. CK from Brighton and Lidberg. So some pretty cool stuff there, guys. One thing I want to show you real quick that I only found out today before we go and have a, look, a proper look at those, at some of those team of the weeks anyway. Did you know managers now have stats? I didn't know. But if you go to the manager bio, look at that. Bought for nothing, number of owners won, trade status untradeable, matches, wins, losses, draws, and clean sheets. We've got clean sheets and draws on a manager. Wins and losses on a manager. Clean sheets on a manager, not on a goalkeeper. But anyway, if you wanted to go and check out your managers and see what's there, that would be lots of fun. So... Let's go and have a look. SBCs. Marcus Turam. I like this card. The hero pick downvoted because who cares about a loan? For, like I say, 10-game loan, no one cares. If it was a three-day loan, I would, I would be like, yeah, do you know what? I'm about that. A 10-game loan, I don't care. Um, the Cosmetic Evo is also downvoted massively because it is horrific. And Early Access Challenge 2 is upvoted because it is decent. I like that. I, I agree massively with what everybody else thinks let's have a look at this marcus turam yeah it's, it's two two for me the hunter great pace no i'm going i'm going hawk hawk gets him mostly lengthy instead of controlled lengthy 95 sprint speed 90 acceleration other than attack positioning brilliant shooting stats brilliant physical stats good reactions good dribbling and decent passing for a striker for one squad guys with the four star weak foot for one squad that's really nice. He's got aerial relentless quick step as well, which is a really nice combination of play styles there. And then he's got advanced forward plus. What does the advanced forward thing do again? Can't click on it. Um, view all player roles. Hackers. Advanced forward. Um, a versatile attacker who usually stays close to the opposition's defensive line but opens themselves up for passes in the build-up and makes runs in behinds for scoring chances. Fair enough. Nice. Um, yeah, no new evolutions today, but, of course, Team of the Week 1. No, we want Team of the Week 2, don't we? All right. Olise, Vinny J, Rafinha, Son, Jackson, Wertz, Rema, Diaz. Um... That's not a new inform from Laminia Al, is it? No, that's his first inform. Um, what else did I want to look at there? Evander. Probably about it. So Elise, what kind of upgrade have they given him? Threes and twos across the board. Doesn't look like skill moves or weak foot. I mean, this is this is a cool card. I also think an engine on him. I know his reactions are a bit low, but with an engine, he's got good pace, good passing, really good dribbling. A good I, I i like that card and if he's ever eligible like for a proper evo so to speak um that would be very good vinicius jr got ones and twos across the board two stamina on vinnie j is very good though very good and for him engine all day every day 99 dribbling and agility 93 balance 99 pace good crossing good vision decent short pass and curve his goal card was already an absolute menace to deal with. Oh, man, that's crazy. Rafinha, he got a plus two overall. He got twos and threes across the board. Four-star, four-star on him. 
What do they have for play styles? Finesse Shot, Trickster, Rapid Flare, Relentless, and Quick Step. This is a sick card. Believe it or not, I'm going to put an engine on him. Great pace. Get that dribbling up. Get that passing up, man. Shooting in this game is good. Um, you know, power shots are OP. Precision shooting is OP. Get those big stats up. And what is it? Is he uh, explosive? mostly explosive? That is going to be a lights out good card off the uh, off the speed boost. It's going to be very good. Hyung Min Son really enjoyed his his uh, his loan card that I had. He got two defending and passing, and then ones across the board. Otherwise, four star, five star. I mean, it's a banging card, isn't it? For for Son, I'm probably going for a hunter and playing him up front. Great pace, great shooting, good passing, good dribbling, and then the four star, five star with a finesse shot plus Nicholas Jackson, guys. This is a good card. I'm going for a Hunter. Great pace and shooting then. Physical's a bit meh. Dribbling's okay. Nothing great. But for you Chelsea fans, I know he's only three star, three star, but that's a really good like starting boost for Nicholas Jackson. Right? They've given him four pace, four shooting, five pass, well, five short passing anyway. Um, four physical and four dribbling. It's a, it's a really sizable upgrade for him. Florian Vietz. Got ones and twos, unfortunately. Really good card from Vert, so. Um, Bremer. Damn, he got two pace. They need to boost it. Like, I would rather they didn't boost his pace, didn't boost his defending or physical, and gave him like 20 passing. Do you know what I mean? Just make this man eligible to actually be used. Because I don't care how good that pace, defending, and physical is, with dribbling and passing like that, no one cares. No, although he's expensive. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Luis Diaz, guys, got a nice little plus two. Twos and threes across the board. This is a really tidy card. 79 balance. You know what I'm saying. Going for an engine. Great pace. Great dribbling. Good passing. Good shooting. Good physicals. Four-star, four-star. Mostly explosive, which, again, is great for the LB speed boost. He's got flair, technical, and quick step as well, which is great for the LB speed boost. And he's got multiple positions. And then Evanda. Evanda got a tidy little upgrade, but not a great card. Um... So there we are. If you, also, if you guys don't know, on Footbin now, we've got the brand new uh, Evolutions page where you can uh, track your own Evos. So I've got my Evolution of Ben White there, and then I've got all the Arsenal players on the, the watch list so that I can have a little look. Um, you know, they've all got, like Havertz has got four upgrades available. Uh, Trossard's got one upgrade. Uh, Rice has got two upgrades available. What does he fit into? I don't know what Rice fits into. Oh, it's um, cosmetics, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so go and check that on on Footbin's uh, page now. We'll obviously be able to use that a little bit more uh, once a new evolution comes out from EA. And then I, w I just wanted to have a look at the T. I just wanted to have a look at Alder Warreld Actually, does he fit into that new Evo? Um, evolutions. This here, Sprint Supreme players. He should do right. He should do. Um, can I search for the player? Players. Clubs. Hold on. Antwerp. Royal Antwerp FC. Doesn't look like they've uh, got it updated here yet, but I'm pretty positive he fits into that and gives him a nice boost in pace. Because look, look at this card anyway, right? If you get this acceleration up to 72 and then put a shadow on him, you're going to have... Oh, no. Eight, sorry. Uh, yeah, to 72. You're going to have 10 extra pace. So he's going to have 80 acceleration, 91 sprint speed with banging physical, banging defending, good reactions, good ball control and good composure, and then really good passing and shot power for a centre back as well. With a four star weak foot, six foot two, that is a really, really tidy card, a really tidy card. I think he's going to be surprisingly good um, and he's already down at 15k. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have got him and if you have used him in that Evo because I think he's going to be good. But for today, guys... That is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.